Thank you. You're I just got to Salon Beach. Ended up doing like a little outfit change and my mom decided to meet me and we're gonna do a little home decor shopping, which if you guys haven't been to Cedros, it's like a street in Solana Beach. And if you're in San Diego, it is such a cute spot to do like home decor shopping. A lot of it's really, really expensive. They have like some showrooms for like interior designers and um, a handful of like shops and things around, but everything is so freaking cute. It's just very expensive. Um, so I like to window shop, get some inspo, take pictures of things I like, and then I usually go home and try and find like more affordable dupes and like other options, but it's a great place to walk around and get inspo. There are some like affordable shops that we're gonna go into, but my game plan today is hopefully find stuff to finish off our bedroom. If you guys missed the last video, um, I'm kind of doing like a bedroom re well, I'm kind of refreshing and finishing off the whole apartment, but the last video I just posted is about our bedroom refresh and we're just like putting the final touches and decorating the bedroom and all that stuff. So my plan is we have like two dressers and they're very bare on top. So I'm hoping to find some something to put on there. Maybe like some textured vases, a frame. I kind of want like maybe a coffee table book or two and then like a display for the coffee table books. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what we find today, but that's our plan. Love these pillows. I'm kind of liking this vibe for the, on top of the dresser. This bench is so good, but then also the pot. I kind of love it. What do you think of this? like a wheel okay I literally love this pot so much and this is like exactly what I was thinking to put on our dresser it just be like a really tall kind of oversized statement pot and then if I don't like it it could go on the ground but it is a little pricey so I don't know but look at how cute it is I'm obsessed that is so good I'm literally obsessed with this pot. Okay, loving all this pottery, but also I have been in the market for like one of the vintage cutting boards to put in the kitchen. We're not looking at the kitchen right now, but maybe when we start doing the kitchen in the living room, this will be the vibe because those are so good. Beach. It's probably really loud because of the waves, but just in time for sunset. My mom and I hung out so much longer than I thought we were going to, but that's obviously the best case scenario, so I'm not mad about it. We are living our best life right now. Also, let the record stand that my Goriana jewels that I always talk about, I literally wear them in the ocean. I never take them off. They are amazing. Good morning, you guys. I'm gonna go get my hair cut today. Look at how, I just feel like it's so long and I never wear it down anymore and I feel like that's when I know I need a haircut because there's just way too much of it to deal with every day. And I also accidentally just showered and washed my hair. And I didn't need to do that because I showered when I got home from the beach last night. And she's gonna wash my hair when she cuts it. So I was just in like autopilot this morning, but I think I'm gonna cut like, honestly, probably like this much off. I just need, I just need it to go. I need less hair. <laughs> And just lush of it. I can barely fit my hair into these dang clips that I have. <laughs> so I just need some of this length to go and then maybe you'll see me actually start doing my hair a little bit more often. I have like wooden wheel that was on the stand. Um, I'll show you guys in a second. But I did see a lot of other things that I was obsessed with. I had to kind of refrain myself from getting like 
all of the little trinkets and things like that because that stuff just always just suckers me in and I want it all but I'm just trying to be so much more intentional with my home decor purchases as of lately like old Allison would have gone in and probably picked up like a dozen things and then by this time next year I would have like not wanted it anymore and not had space for it because I had gotten more home decor stuff or like what have you so I'm just trying to be more mindful and like go in with a game plan and get exactly what I need or not even get anything if there's like nothing that I find um so really had to practice self-control yesterday because everything was so cute but my pro tip when it comes to home decor shopping, especially if you're shopping in an area where things are a bit more expensive because where I was yesterday, everything was definitely very, very expensive and borderline overpriced. But I feel like I got a lot of inspo. It just like gives you a lot of home decor inspo, which I like. So I kind of also went for that reason just to kind of it just helps you visualize. It's like a real life Pinterest board, you know? <laughs> what I do is I go to the home decor stores, take photos of a bunch of things that I like for both inspo and just to like see the products. And then what you can do is you can go into Google, like the Google app has this thing called Google Lens where you can upload like screenshots. It's even good for finding like if people's, if someone's wearing an outfit and they haven't linked it, you can do like a screenshot of that. I just uploaded a bunch of the home decor things that I wanted to find. And it'll basically just scour the internet and show you things similar to what's in the photo so that's what i did and i found so many of the items that i was obsessed with like a lot of the pots and like little decor items i was able to use the google lens to find at a more affordable price and the ones that it kind of showed me were borderline like the exact same product so I'm really happy I didn't walk away buying some of those vases because I do really want like a big vase for our dresser but the ones that were in all the stores that I saw were like two to like four hundred dollars which I was just not down to spend so I uploaded the photos to Google Lens and I found ones that were like literally one fourth to one fifth of the price and they are virtually identical so that's my pro tip for you is to go to wherever your area's like design district is Go in and get the inspo, take all of the photos. Obviously, if you like something, like I saw something yesterday that I really liked. I looked it up online. The pricing seemed very like like normal for what, like the item that I got. Um, so I picked it up because I was just obsessed with it. But that's my pro tip. I'll stop rambling. All right, so this is what I ended up picking for the space and I am obsessed with it. It's just this like wooden vintage wheel they had a handful of them actually this one was just my favorite i liked the metal detailing on both sides as you can see and then it had this metal stand it's also so incredibly heavy and such good quality i was like this is for sure going to be a piece that i have in my home for quite literally the rest of my life so i feel like it just adds i wanted big items to put in the dresser space so that it just feels like Lux. I didn't want a bunch of tiny little things. I want like this is literally perfect And then I think what I'm gonna do is get like a book stand for right here kind of like a like I want the book to lay open, but I want it to be on a stand if that makes sense these Are just way too small for the space this I just kind of have to see if I would rather want a book there or there But then I'm thinking like a big vase right there, so that's kind of what I was actually on the hunt for yesterday was the vase, but we walked away with this and I am so obsessed. But if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel or you missed my last video, I did do a whole like closet clean out and bedroom refresh. It's kind of the part one because I still have a lot of things that I want to do in the bedroom, some of which is the decor that I was literally just talking about. And then we're also putting art and like a rug maybe two rugs if i want to layer i can't really decide so there's going to be a part two to finishing off the room and giving you guys like a bedroom reveal and then i'm going to continue and move on to the living room and then finalize the office so i'm kind of just trying to like finish off each space one by one if you will so if you're not subscribed to the channel be sure to hit the subscribe button because there will be a lot of more just like home decor focused videos in the future once it's all done, I'm going to give you guys, like, finally, I've been here for, like, seven months, and finally, I will give you guys a full, furnished, decorated, everything apartment tour. I know that is well overdue, um, but yeah, so make sure that you guys are subscribed, 
there's also a lot more than just home decor stuff that's just kind of what the focus is it's keeping my mind off of the fact that i'm not going on a europe trip this summer like everyone else and their mom so other people might not be going to europe but i am redecorating my home also another item that i want to share that has literally changed my life i forgot to include this in um, my vlog about the bedroom but this is a like alarm clock slash noise machine slash kind of a little, little night light um this has changed my life you guys i'm literally obsessed with it as many of you guys may know i live in downtown san diego so living in downtown it's definitely very noisy like there's cars at night there's just a lot going on it's a little chaotic downtown it's fine but this has a noise machine so you turn it on this is my favorite this is setting five and it's just kind of this brown noise and then you can switch it they think there's like 21 different settings everything there's like white noise and then there's fans and then there's static and then i think there's actual like music rain kind of nature sounds but I'm telling you guys, if you haven't slept with a noise machine, it is quite literally the most life-changing thing I've ever experienced in my life. And this was only, I think, $23 on Amazon. And it's, I sleep like an actual infant. And I've gotten so many of my friends on this. Even a couple of my neighbors have bought it because we live in the same apartment. But I feel like I'm a stan of the noise machine and my life is forever changed and i will never not sleep without it so there you have it i hope you're sold all right heading out the door i'm wearing this oak and four like black onesie with a linen cover up what else is new and then got my white converse on also what else is new goriana jewels i feel like this is just a very staple allison outfit also packed myself lunch that i'm gonna eat in the car so i figured i'd show you i got a turkey avocado cheese mayo sandwich didn't have lettuce that's why it looks so sad go macro bar banana raspberries and then my athletic greens which i can't go a day without since we've gotten it all right i just got home a fresh cut it's so much shorter but it feels so good and healthy i feel like when i make a little bun it's like a cute little bun and then I'm gonna go like this. It's not whole, like my clips. My clips will actually fit in my hair now. So that feels really, really good. It's always like a bit of a shocker at first because it feels so much. It was like this long before, but I like it. I think it's cute. I also trimmed my curtain bangs a little bit, but we didn't have time to style them. So they just are bangs, I guess. <laughs> that is the haircut and i actually just got home and i got a package from abercrombie um they're having like a huge sale right now with a stackable discount code whenever i find a stackable discount code i a always let you guys know and always use it as an excuse to shop so i already took everything out of the package and i think i'm actually going to try everything on and then show you guys what it looks like i got like a cargo pants and then a couple a cute white tees so i'm gonna try those on and then i'm gonna tidy for like 15 minutes just like power tidy the house very quickly and then call it a day she's about to go do a workout but after he's back we're gonna go take duke for a nice long walk and maybe go like sit at the park and hang out for a little bit and then we decided that we don't want to cook dinner so i think we might go do sushi or something you will see. Okay, so here are the cargo pants, and I love them so much. The color, just the style, the overall fit and the length is really, really, really good. I, they also come in green, and they sold out. Like, I put them in my cart, and it was like, there's five left, and then I was so sad because I really wanted the green ones more than the white because I already kind of have a white pair, but these are the tight in the waist. Like, there's no give literally like no room this is my true to size us 28 and i 100 percent wish that i sized up i might return them and get a size up i'm not sure if they're sold out yet but then this is a cute little obviously strapless top that i really like and it does come with a like halter strap that attaches but i liked the ruching on the side i feel like i've been wearing strapless t-shirts a lot lately and this is a good structure i got a small in all my t-shirts i usually size down probably wouldn't wear this top with these jeans i feel like it's like girly meets grunge but this top is so cute 
for spring and summer. I just thought it would be a good like kind of half basic but also fun top to wear during summer with like jean shorts or just jeans. It's like kind of casual but kind of dressy, just like a middle of the road shirt, which I really appreciate. Another cute top that I feel like is half girly and dressed up and kind of half casual. Again, I probably wouldn't wear it with the cargos, but I have this silhouette in their dress and I loved the dress version I literally wear all the time. So when I saw they had a top, I was like, absolutely yes. Okay, don't mind me, I unbuttoned my pants for this one because it's a bodysuit and I wanted to show you the whole thing. But this is gonna be a staple. It has the ruching all the way up and down the side. So you get this like ruched effect through both the front and the back of the top, which I really appreciate. And then it has these little sleeves, which you could also wear a little bit off the shoulder if you wanted to, but I like it this way. Also, here's the dress for reference. I actually wore this in one of my last vlogs and I feel like I wear it once a week because it's just such a cute summer dress. It's comfy, the fit is perfect, it has pockets, but as you can see, it's like the same silhouette with the top and the puff sleeves. I feel like the puff sleeves are just a little bit longer and like this goes a little bit longer down and then you have like the ruching instead of it just being like the straight across crop, but it's my favorite dress. It also comes in so many colors. It's double lined, the bottom. We appreciate that. So now I'm gonna clean and then whenever Richie gets back, we're going to go for a little sunset walk and get dinner. So I cleaned and then while Richie got home, I actually just ended up updating a bunch of my Revolve favorites, which I always have linked below in all the description boxes in my videos. I try and keep this like, or I try and go in and update it a couple times a month, but there's some good things on there. Also, we don't really want to buy alcohol at dinner tonight, so we decided that we're going to bring a little roadie with us. Okay, JK Richie finished his roadie, so we're opening up this flying this? embers that we just got, which is hard. My new roadie. Kombucha, which it's eight and a half percent. That's, wow, that's pretty wild. Strong. All right, baby. All right, you guys, we made it to sushi, but we both failed at not ordering drinks, which Richie's making fun of me because I like unfiltered sake and it looks like a glass of milk. <laughs> So we failed at not drinking, so now we had a roti and we're getting dinner. And our sushi looks delicious. Cheers, babe. Wow, 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 wow. All right, I just got home from our walk. Actually, not just go home, we've been home for a minute, but it was a long walk and dinner, and I'm gonna get ready. For bed. I'm tired. It's only nine. But we're going to bed early. Maybe read, maybe put on a movie. I also really need to get a better makeup headband. I don't have these stupid bunny ears, but it's what works right now, so it's what we're doing. But it was a good past couple days. I feel so good that I got my hair cut feels so nice. The apartment has felt also so clean since we did the bedroom refresh. Closet clean out, just like got a new dresser. If you missed the vlog again, I'll link it down below, but I feel like the bedroom just feels so, just everything feels like it has a place, which makes it feel so much cleaner. I'm also like basically out of To, I feel like I always end the vlog like taking off my makeup and doing my nighttime skincare routine. But also, if you don't, it's like changing the subject, if you don't massage your face wash into your skin before you start running the water and like suds it up, I promise it is going to change your life. This is what gets all your makeup off. You like rub it into your skin, warm it up, melt all your makeup off, and then I promise you're going to wipe your face and it's going to be so clean you're going to have like literally no makeup residue. Voila! We're just getting right back into 
regularly scheduled programming and there are a lot of vlogs coming up so if you're not already subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel I feel like I've already probably said that in the vlog but this is just your reminder if you've made it this far so I love you and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day night week weekend whenever you're watching this I hope that the rest of it's great so i love you and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time